Welcome to Pocket Ronnie, where we save your mathematical life. Okay, this is just a review of mixed numbers. This is a mixed number. It's called a mixed number because it has a whole number and a fraction. Four and six fifths. Actually, let's make this four and five six. Okay, so four and five six. I want to change that into an improper fraction. So the way you do it is if you can remember to kind of go around the circle. Start here, you take your 6 and you multiply it by the 4 and then you add the 5. So 6 times 4 is 24 and then 24 plus 5 is 29 and you keep your same denominator. So the 6 stays the same. So 4 and 5, 6 is the same thing as 29, 6. So we've changed our mixed number into an improper fraction. Okay, let's look at this one with a negative. You do the same thing even though there's a negative out here. Don't, this negative does not, take. you don't take this into account when you add this number. Just pretend like the negative's not there. Two times three is six, plus one is seven. So that's seven, and you keep your same denominator, but now you put your negative out front. So this negative just implies this whole thing is negative. You do not take this negative into account when doing your calculations. Okay, this negative just gets transferred over to here to say that it's a negative number. So negative three halves is the same thing as negative seven halves. All right, now let's look at taking an improper fraction and turning it into a mixed number. Let's just say we're gonna have 27 halves, 27 over two. Remember this symbol means divide. 27 divided by 2. So you can think of this as 27 divided by 2. How many times is 2 going to 27? There. Subtract. Bring down your 7. 2 goes into 7 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. Subtract. You have a remainder of 1. So you can write this now. You can write your remainder as a fraction. 1 over 2. You have 1 out of two left. So you have just now turned this into a mixed number. So basically two goes into 27 13 times. 13 times two is 26. 27 minus 26 is one left over. So your denominator should stay the same. Your de this denominator should be the same over here. So if you want to rewrite it over here as a division problem, that's okay. That's all this is, is a division problem. Let's do just one more. Um, if you can, you can do this in your head. Six fifths. This is the same thing as six divided by five. If you want to write it off to the side, I'm not going to write it off to the side. You can think five goes into six how many times? One. And then the remainder is six minus five is one. There's a remainder of one, and you keep your same denominator. You can always turn this back into an improper fraction to check yourself. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, 6 fifths. Make sure that these two equal each other. An improper fraction is when your numerator is larger than your denominator. That's when it's considered improper. And then those, those can be changed into a mixed number.